Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to this quick video on the uh, arcade collection by Incredible Technologies, which is Target Toss Pro, Silver Strike Bowling, and Power Putt Golf, all kind of, I guess you could call it remastered uh, in 1080p, 60 frames per second for all three games. Um, and currently it's available for uh, commercial uh, cabinet owners, operators. Um, so with the release of the PGA edition, um, has the new PGA courses, but also has all the uh, original courses that were on the previous cabinet. So one of the um, options they're providing is you can buy this kit, uh, which will allow you to then have an offline edition of those three games. Uh, and uh, so you can still you know, make some uh, money back. Um, I have mine set up at, as free play right now, but um, I thought that's kind of cool because in my area, um, I actually had these games at home uh, previously because uh, in using the Magic Switcher to use the same Nighthawk on w one of my older systems and the Perfect Solution Switcher to switch between my commercial and the home edition and all that um, to have them both on simultaneously. But the point is, is there was a lot of work and a lot of uh, you know expense uh, to, to do that. and. Uh, even though this is not currently available for home edition users, uh, I'm told that it will be. There's no release date as of this video, um, but I think this will be definitely a, a game changer because, like Power Putt, for example, um, we couldn't find a Power Putt live, you know, over within 100 miles of where I live. There was a couple Silver Strikes and then mostly Golden Tee. So to be able to play these games uh, when you want, if you really like them, it was kind of hard to come by. So. Um, or expensive to get in at home. So I think uh, this is pretty cool what they're doing as far as um, starting with the commercial uh, to be able to reuse those previous cabs now that everything's moving to new hardware architecture on the PGA3. And uh, same with the home edition users. Uh, I know they're supporting it at least five years out, but um, at some point they will have something like this. So if you've invested you know, over the years uh, you'll still be able to use that same hardware to play these three games, which uh, many of us don't um, actually have. So um, <clears throat> I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, in this uh, video, like I said, I just I thought we'd uh, showcase some of these uh, and go through and just see how the how it's set up. So right now it's in the attract mode, so it's kind of going through all the different uh, games and whatnot. I have the sound turned off um, for the attract mode, but you can same as with the other one. You can have it have it sometimes or all the time or no sound. So <clears throat> let's just uh, start one up here. Here's uh, Target Toss Pro, which consists of lawn darts and bags. So and we'll start with lawn darts. And with me today is someone who one player. No introduction. Jack, shoot we'll start with the standard here. Yours, champ. Thanks, Matt. This is the highlight of my career. I'm happy to announce today's game. Lush Hanamalu Bay is host to today's match live in sunny Hawaii. That makes three. All right. So this is uh, a. What I like about this is, um, oh. not only is it 1080p 60, is you don't have to change anything. Like, I had uh, e. I had uh, Silver Strike Bowling and Power Put in 1080p on the same uh, board with the Magic Switcher, but. If, uh, but th since this game only runs, the original only runs in 720p, you'd have to uh, change the dip switch uh, to change it. <clears throat> uh, from the, if you're playing the other game to 1080p, you have to switch it to change it to 720p just for this game, which was kind of annoying. So that's another uh, take a look at the happy nice thing total. with this is, like I say, you can have all these games 1080p, six frames a second. And you don't have to keep uh, switching them on and off. You can basically play them uh, simultaneously, get in and out of the games. In for one. In this game, uh, right there for three. Let's check before out I got this doing. cab, the only time I ever played it was the on the Nintendo Wii. Wham! Three points. Uh, they had a port of this game on the Nintendo eShop, which is pretty cool. In the ring for one. But uh, I did enjoy the Let's check original the Target Frost Pro that I added to this cab, but now that we have this version, I just decided I'm going to be Three pulling points. out those old uh, CIDs, security chips, and just stick with this one. 
pop this one is up by on far the, the superior version. And the price is good. I don't know how much the home edition is going to be, but uh, for what you get, I think they're uh, they're doing everyone a solid for existing owners to be able to convert to this. Like I say, not for home edition yet, but uh, for any of the commercial units, you can order these uh, today. I don't know what their availability is like. I pre-ordered it. And it took, uh, you know, there were delays like everything else, uh, electronic nowadays. But um, eventually got it, and I am, I think, uh, anyone that likes these games or want to have them in their uh, business for customers to play, uh, I think it's great to get these back out in the wild, so to speak. In the zone for three. And of course, having them at In home is going to be even better <laughs> for everybody. In for one. Let's check out the score. All right. The wind is oh, kicking I guess up one more. in this final inning. <laughs> one inside. A solid three. In the ring for one. That game has some right. nice execution. J O E. Well played game. Keep it going. So we're just, we'll say no. Game? And this will take us back out. Get the splash screen with the scores. Now there are a couple bugs like with the uh, power put uh, currently, but I'm sure they'll iron those out. I already notified them of it. I'm Matt so, Kern, not a big and I'm deal. I'm honored but... to have former TTPA champion Shooter Thompson in the booth today. Let her rip, right. Shooter. What an intro! Thanks, Matt. It's great well, here's to be here. Here's Bags. Live just outside Shane Stadium, home of the Colorado Ravens. J. O. E. There's a keeper. Let's rewind and review that shot. She made that five look easy. Eight of diamonds. Let's take a look at that great shot one more time. In the box. Ten of spades. And you can set Let's all these parameters the too. Card. Like if you want to have the, you know, the poker two. card playing in addition, you can turn that stuff on and off just like you could before. Ace of spades. Four of hearts. One more time. Way to pump up that crowd. I'm not sure how many I've gotten in a row before. Ace of clubs. On this uh That's six in a row. This version, I think I'm pretty sure this is the highest. Yeah, I definitely haven't had six in a row on this. On the original one, I may have. Current standings. But yeah, yeah. See, that's way better than I've only played this a few times. You can see the leaderboards. Are, As the wind picks up a bit, we enter the third inning. I haven't played a whole lot of this yet. And yeah, now I'm going downhill. Top of the box but, for uh, one. That's better. Let's count that three for her. Three of hearts. All right. of diamonds this is where the game stands start of the fourth we could call her edgerly she aims for the box nice play but any of you that have There's tried to one. set up target toss pro before on your existing hardware um, you know trying to get Hold the right motherboard and, that is one and graphics for her. card here are the uh, totals Depending on the combo, sometimes the audio won't go through HDMI. Would have to use the analog port. And it's just uh, so nice to have this updated with the. You know, this is running on a, uh, a GTX 1050. Now I did test with the 1050 Ti, which doesn't work, but a uh, Zotac GTX 1050. This is running 1080p 60, no problem. Well, I guess I'm not paying attention to the wind there. One. Um, Let's take a look at the stats. One. We have some maximum wins for the final inning. 
That stayed on. Ow! Five of spades. Nice shot despite the win. And this right. game ends at 49. Good game. Let's look at the final score. How about a replay? All right, so we'll say no. And now we're back at the menu. So there was Target House Pro. Um, let's go to uh, Power Put just because uh, Welcome technically to Silver Shark Bowling your host, uh, was 1080p60 before. Poker and mini golf. And what I don't know about you guys, but there there was some. Uh, in the heart of the African savanna, we're <clears> here <throat> at Safari River. Let's begin. I could get this game to play in 1080p six. Well, but it wouldn't keep the 60 frame uh, frame rate if I had it at 1080p. It only did that at. Holy shit! Uh, only had that at 10 or 720p 60. It was solid, but 1080p it was kind of choppy at times. King of so, clubs. Uh, High this card. this was more for. Checking um, or testing the 1080p60 consistently, and so far it has. So. For birdie, suck on that shit. Uh, obviously, raw talk is on. Um, Taking on hole two. And they seem like on the version I had, they had a. Whenever it had a sentence that had a cuss word in it. It was like lower volume than some of the other commentary on here, but this seems like putt is for birdie. I think they evened this it out. Is sweet. Yeah, they definitely uh, evened it out because before it would be a lot lower. Like when they had to three. like this commentary, then followed by another sentence with the cuss word, would be the volume would be a little off. So I think they fixed that. This putt is for birdie. With a putt for par. Okay. I'm also testing out new stream, so sorry the audio's bad, but um, I've got my game room kind of torn apart and working on a number of projects here. But um, I'm gonna Taking try to get a more semi-consistent uh, 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 setup here soon, and uh, I'll have a different mic and everything. Right now, I'm just using. Had to throw in some Bluetooth headphones, so it probably doesn't sound that good. Hell yes, motherfuckers! Stepping up to hole five. Trying for birdie. That's how it's fucking done. Starting hole six. With a birdie putt. Nice! Eat shit, motherfuckers! Starting hole seven. I don't know if I would quite... I never quite got that, figured out that shot yet. Like I say, and I should mention too, I'm new to all these games too. It all, uh, a lot of people in the community have been into Golden Tee for a long time. Some people have careers in it. For me, uh, I got the Arcade 1-Up version. Um, for par. And that's kind of what gave me the bug. Ah, oh, fuck that shit! Yeah, I nice shot. totally meant to uh, bank it like that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, you know, I, I really enjoyed that, and then I was playing Golden T4 on the PC, so I ended up doing a, a mod to my original Golden T to, um, God damn uh, it. What the convert fuck? it into a Golden T4, on the green and, putting for par. and then, uh, I bought the 2020 commercial cab, then eventually bought the no. home edition, fuck and then... Ended up getting uh, Silver Strike X, and then end up getting Power Putt Golf, and I figured, well, why not? There's only one 
left oh, yeah. target Look toss. At that shit. Uh, so, and then that's when I realized how much of a pain target toss is to set up <laughs> compared to uh, power put and silver strike bowling. So, uh. Fucking fuck! On to hole nine! This is about the same way I play on uh, Golden T2. I think my average is. I think it's gone down, you but it's like maybe that. negative 11, 11 under. And a lot of people are shooting like 25, 30, like it's nothing. King of diamonds. Well, for a pair. I'm pretty, that doesn't sound right though. Putting I, for birdie. And I usually get maybe like six That's under if I had to think off the top Stepping of my head. To hole 10. I have to check my player card. But, oh man. Not good. Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> With the putter, this for par. Oh, way too hard. Yeah, see, now I'm thinking Golden Tee, and uh, this game oh, is a lot shit. more sensitive than Golden Tee. Golden Tee, you really have to hit the track ball like it's Stepping up to hold a baseball 11. or something, but this one you don't really have to hit it that hard for it to go far. Mm. Even that. Thought that was light what enough. The fuck but was that? I don't know, this dude. Is for par. I don't know what that is. That's it. Taking on hole 12. Needs hmm. this for birdie. Fuck yes! Eat that shit! Stepping up to hole 13. Let's see here. Too light. What a fucking waste. That For it birdie was. with this putt. Long putts on this game are pretty easy though. You just hit it straight. This to save par. This. But even that was almost nice. too hard. Looking at hole 14. This putt for birdie. Fuck yes. Next up, hole 15. I thought I had it. That's some incredible shit. Nine of spades has this for birdie. Lucky prick. Hole sixteen is next. <laughs> Trying to knock down an eagle putt. I thought that might have been too hard. For birdie. And again, this isn't a tutorial of how to play. This is just showing the direct raw captures. Trying of how it for looks. par. That's it. Taking on hole 17. Whoops, Whoops. to Daisy. God damn it! What the fuck? Putting for par. Ooh. That's Gotta it. Missed that. Stepping up to hole 18. Ooh. Whoa! You got fucked for birdie with this putt. Oh. <clears throat> with the putter, this for par. All right. A fine round. So this is the only, uh, I think, it's not a bug, but an oversight when you finish. You had that quick little preview of the score, and then it gets you out. It doesn't ask you, do you want to play again? So if you want to play another game of power putt, you have to get um, back into it. And the bugs, um, I don't really need to show, because uh, I'm sure they'll have it fixed before. 
Um, but there are a couple of reproducible ones that I notified them of and uh, showed how to duplicate them. But last, uh, I guess, Bowling. but not least, because I can show you the game is operator Randy menu. Peterson, <laughs> of 13 career titles. But Silver Randy, Strike, uh, and I guess that's another thing, here. is, uh, let's play one game here. But, uh, they have, um, they have the Silver Strike Bowling original logo. Um, All right, here we go. She's got a new trick up her sleeve. But it's this is actually Silver Strike X. First strike of the match. Don't walk away. You've made your mark. Tremendous. One more time. Let's look at that strike. I haven't seen any issues with this one yet. As far as any bugs or anything. This power plus so far. Tiny hook on this one. Seven down. Player on the runway. I would say of all the games, this is probably one of my favorite ones. I'm surprised they haven't uh, or they stopped making this one. But I guess everyone just likes the golf. Maybe. I mean, again, keep in mind, these games are all new to me, but this is, seems to be my go-to, like when I'm uh, busy at work and I need a quick break, playing a quick round of bowling, I can do a lot easier than golf, or some She's of those guys nice going on. can play golf probably as fast as I can get to bowling. It takes me like 12 to 15 minutes on average to get through an 18 course on regular gold tee. And here, this whole video has been about 20 minutes and already been through all of it. All the games. Let her go. Seven down and three up. She delivers. Nice shot. She's looking for another mark. Adds eight to the total. Ball two, frame five. That's skill. Looking for the clean game. What? That's probably the ugliest strike I've ever seen. Let alone do myself. Wow. That was pretty bad. How did that, huh? Uh, but I'll take it. Why not? She fires it off. Another Brooklyn. But no strike oh, that time. That's a bad tap. Continuing frame seven. Picks up one for the spare. Going into frame eight. Leaves a seven pin. Player ready to go. Been rally the troops. Looks like she's trying out the old curveball. It's hammer time. Tremendous. One more time. Let's look at that strike. Killer. What a great shot. Oh, I thought that was the 10th frame. She fires it off. There we go. What? Leaves a seven pin. Oh, that was in the This pocket. should be an easy pickup. Covers the corner pin. She's got her curve game going. Hmm. And this game ends All at right. 196. She kept so. it clean. Just like in uh, Target Cross Pro, in this one it'll ask you uh, if you want to play again. Uh, they missed it in Power Putt for some reason. But we'll say no, so it'll take us back out. And uh, there you have it. That is the um, the arcade collection. And if you guys want to see, um, if we go to the 
Uh, let's see, where's my button here? Do, 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 do. There it is. There. Uh, so here's your, um, you know, your menu. Uh, menu. So you got the general, uh, which applies to pretty much everything, and then you have some of the game specific uh, changes. And then, uh, you know, like I say, for being an operator, you can do your cash collection. So it's still a way to make money um, on your old cabinet while you have the PGA Tour um, edition out for all the current online stuff. Um, so. And like I say, this is going to be awesome, I think, for um, uh, homeowners when it comes out, uh, when that comes out, and for enthusiasts and uh, arcade modders and stuff. So um, I think it's pretty awesome what they made here. What do you guys think uh, of this? Are you going to get one when it's available, or are you going to upgrade yours? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.